E gridate, 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 sai a me che me ne importa. E parlate, parlate, io fingerò di ascoltarvi per l'ennesima volta. Concorda con l'analisi della crisi del professor Bagnai? Do you agree with uh, Alberto Bagnai's analysis of the crisis? Well, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but the, the reason for the unemployment is because the deficits are too small. Now, sometimes the deficit needs to be larger, sometimes it needs to be smaller. All you do is count bodies in the unemployment line. If the line's too long, the deficit's too small. If the unemployment line gets too short and everybody has a job, you know, companies are trying to steal them from each other and the price of houses is going up every day, the, the deficit's too large. It needs to be made smaller, no matter what size it starts out at. Okay, so the, the, again, you have to define what the crisis is. To me, the crisis is the rise in unemployment, the loss of output, and the destruction of the culture. That part of the crisis is always caused by the deficit being too small for the given set of circumstances. Now, one day, a 1% deficit might be just perfect because the private sector is borrowing like crazy and expanding their credit at 5% or 6% a year. The next day, the private sector may have had all their credit cards taken away, and now you need an 8 or 10% deficit. Uh, the next day, foreign governments might be spending all their foreign exchange reserves, and you may need to run a surplus. It's going to change. But, but the right size deficit is the one that sustains full employment with reasonable price stability. And now I'm not, I don't know if that's how he says it or not, but that's, that's the case. That's the way it is.